You know, we all want a healthy planet to live a healthy life, but did you know there's a natural enemy out there that's affecting the lives of millions of people and it's flying around us every day? But in Brazil, new technology has just been developed to help eradicate this threat in a most natural way. Let's take a look. The mosquito. You may wonder how such a small insect could be a human threat. But over one million people die from mosquito-borne diseases every year. And hundreds of millions more experience pain and suffering from devastating illnesses that are transmitted by mosquitoes, including dengue fever, yellow fever, and the Zika virus. If you look at some place like World War I and World War II, the total combined number of deaths, uh, U.S. troop losses in, in those two wars, uh, this mosquito kills more than that every year more than 725,000 a year. Uh, people die of this little insect bite. Uh, much of that is malaria, but it's also uh, chikungunya. It's all challenges with Zika. There are other diseases out there, dengue. 400 million cases a year, 25,000 deaths a year. And the primary mosquito responsible for these deadly viral diseases, the Aedes aegypti for which it takes only one bite from the female Aedes mosquito for the virus to be transmitted. Insecticides don't reach them anymore. They develop resistance to those things. Vaccines, they are not available for all diseases. So basically, fighting this mosquito and the diseases that it transmits, it is one of the challenges that we have. The big problem is this dangerous mosquito is primarily an urban dweller. It loves to live where we humans live, like here in Piracicaba, Brazil, where dengue fever was rampant until a radical new technology was introduced in the mosquito itself. In Piracicaba, Oxitec has uh, developed and uh, released only male mosquitoes in the community of Piracicaba, in the center of Piracicaba and that has been a tremendous impact in the community, uh, generating better protection for the lives that in the neighborhoods that we release those mosquitoes. This technology, which contains a self-limiting gene, does not make those females that hatch eggs to become adult. And that's reduced the population of mosquito in Piracicaba in more than 80% on the neighborhoods that we release it. In the lab, we give them an antidote, which makes them reach adulthood. But in nature, once it is released, it can't find it. It is basically a weapon to search for females in the nature and avoid them from reproducing. So the next generation of mosquitoes will be faded. Here at the Oxitec production facility, over 60 million male 80s mosquitoes are being produced each week to be released in specific cities where there is a mosquito problem to deploy innovative, friendly 80s male mosquitoes in the fight against the dangerous, disease-carrying female. Unlike other genetic approaches, the friendly 80s male mosquitoes die along with their offspring, significantly lowering the mosquito population and leaving no ecological footprint. I release males in the field. Those males find the females and mate with them. And all the progeny out of those two mosquitoes will die before becoming adults. So we reduce drastically the population of wild mosquitoes. So it's very cost efficient very effective and we can track exactly how we're doing. If you ask the pesticide companies, for example, how well they're suppressing mosquitoes, it's very difficult for them to tell you that. Uh, for, for our technology, we can tell you very precisely how we're doing, uh, not only in the city overall, but specifically on a city block. It's all done without an ounce of pesticide that could harm other insects or us humans. And it's a smarter, safer way to fight this mosquito-borne disease while still protecting our environment.